When you upgrade to a new version of Photoshop, you're probably going to have presets that you want to transfer from your previous version. These are going to be things like brushes or styles, things that you either downloaded from the internet or created yourself. The good news is that this is a very easy thing to do using the preset manager. I'm in Photoshop CS5 right now. I'm going to go ahead and go up to edit, preset manager. Now first you want to decide which type of preset you actually want to transfer over. It starts off in brush view, but let's say you had some custom shapes that you wanted to transfer over. Just click that from the drop down. I'm going to go back up to brushes. And you can also change the view if you have another way you'd like to view them as a list or large thumbnails, small thumbnails, and you can even view the stroke thumbnails. But I'm going to go ahead and go back to that list and scroll all the way down to the bottom because I have all of these snowflakes that I actually need to save and put into Photoshop CS6. So I'm going to click and highlight all of the ones that I want to transfer over. I'm going to hold my shift key to select all of those snowflakes from the bottom. And if let's say I, if I had a few up here I wanted to take with me, I'd hold my command or control key and then just click to select those miscellaneous brushes as well. But I'm just going to go with the snowflake ones for now. So I'm going to click save set. I'm going to name these snowflakes. And I actually have a special folder that I'm going to save all of these in. That way if I use these in future versions, it's really easy for me to find. So let me go ahead and scroll down and find it. I just titled it Photoshop Presets. And I'm going to save it right inside of here. Okay, so I'm done here. I'm going to switch over to Photoshop CS6. Go up to Edit, Presets, Preset Manager. Now I'm just going to do the reverse. I'm going to click Load. I'm already in that folder, so I'm going to double click on that Snowflakes. And if I scroll all the way down, now I have my, my presets from Photoshop CS5 in Photoshop CS6.